Montori. Welcome to the class of English Literature. So today we are going to read the story about a small girl who was very rude, arrogant and she never used to behave good with somebody. Now one thing to notice here is children, everybody of everybody has a past. Each one of us has a past. Now suppose you have a friend who is very cheerful, who is very good, who keeps talking and sharing to people around. But some tragic or bad incident happens in their life and they automatically change. They are no longer cheerful. So the people, the outsiders, when they will see the same person, they will find a huge change. As in, the person who used to be so cheerful is just quiet and silent now. How come? But only the person knows what problem he faced. So in the story, the name of the chapter is The Secret Garden. We are going to talk about a little girl who became rude because of some reason and how this secret garden changed her life perspective. How this garden changed her behavior entirely that we are going to read in this chapter. So let's start. First of all, I would like to tell about the main characters. The first is Mary Lennox. This is the girl and the name of the girl is Mary. She is rude and lonely child. Now this Mary, this girl, she has lost her parents. She is an orphan. Her parents died and when they died, she was taken to her uncle's home. She was living in an uncle's manor. Manor is a kind of an old house, a huge old house that used to be built in the old structure. So this girl Mary was living in the old manor of uncle. Now what was the name of the uncle? Mr. Craven. Mr. Craven is the name of the uncle. First two characters are the girl Mary who is an orphan. The parents have died and now she has been taken to the house of Mr. Craven who is the uncle. Now this is Martha. She is kind of a caretaker. She is working there in the house of Craven. And she is taking the responsibility of Mary. Now she has been assigned that you have to take care of Mary. Next is Dika. Now, Dickard is the brother of Martha. They both are siblings, brother and sisters. Last is the bear. Now, this bear is the gardener of this secret garden. Now, when you see the word secret, that means it was not visible to all. It was a secret. Now, let's start with scene one. Just for your better understanding, I have made this video a shot with scene one. Mary is sitting in a room. She is very scared and she is frightened. Probably this is the first day when she has been brought to uncle's room. Now children, imagine one thing. You live in your home, you know your parents, you live so happily. All of a sudden, something bad happens and you are taken into some another home. How would you feel? A little bit scared and frightened. So was Mary. Mary was literally scared and frightened and it was a new house for her. Now what happened? Martha came to her and she started talking with her. But Mary did not like Martha because Martha used to teach Mary all the good habits. Like whenever Mary used to say, I don't want to do this work. I have been doing it. You know, I, I never used to do any work when I used to live at my home. Only the maids used to do. Now Mary was given a special treatment at her place. But this treatment she couldn't get here because this Martha, she quickly used to tell Mary, do your own work together. Now suppose Mary said that you fold my clothes. Martha refused. She said, no. You have to fold your own clothes. So Mary actually did not like Martha very much, but Martha used to take care of Mary. Now when she started talking to her, she introduced herself, Ki, I am Martha, I will be taking care of you. Then she introduced about her brother Dickon, who has got a very good horse. She said, I am going to help you to meet my brother and when you will be going to the way, you are going to find a garden. The name of the garden is Secret Garden. Now, as soon as Mary so heard the word secret garden, she said, is it? Do we really have a secret garden? So, the Martha said, yes, we have a secret garden and it is closed. You cannot enter inside it. Now, Ma, this Mary became curious. She said, but why? Why do you have a garden where we cannot enter? So, Martha, Ma, Martha explains that the garden was shut 10 years back because it was the garden of the wife of uncle and now since the wife is dead uncle craven 
doesn't want anyone to enter it. But now she was a small girl, so some dual thoughts were running in her mind. Mary immediately thought that while I'll be going, I'll try to enter the garden. Now next day, what they do? They start going. Mary and Martha are going to meet the, meet his brother Digger. Now on the way, Mary notices that garden, and in that garden, she notices a beautiful red colored bird whose feathers were totally red, right? And the bird was sitting on the tree and uh, sitting on the wall. And the bird was still singing a melancholy song. Melancholy is a sad song. Right? The bird was singing a melancholy song, but somewhere Mary found it good. Mary thought that this is the bird sitting on the wall. That means this bird knows the secret of this garden. This bird knows everything about the garden. So one day, in absence of Mary, what did in absence of Martha, what did Mary did? Mary went to the wall. She searched for the key. There were so many creepers. Creepers are the long plants that are hanging. She searched for the creepers and finally she found a door. That means the door was the entrance of the garden. But it was locked. There was a creek. She again searched and searched behind the creepers and finally she found a golden color thing that was lying on the floor and when she tried to pick it up, it was a key. Now she opened the uh, key. She, opened, she used the key and opened the gate. The gate got opened and she was shocked to see what was inside. There was a secret garden and the garden was, it was totally kind of a dead because the plants and trees, they were all dead because it was a winter time. Nobody had given them water, nobody was taking care of them. So the condition of the trees and the condition of the garden had become really worse. But there was a robin bird who was sitting there and the robin was very much excited that now somebody has come, I will take her to the entire garden and I am going to help her to search. Now Robin and Mary they started moving together, and Mary, uh, he was showing him the he was showing her the garden. Now Mary was very happy because she had a bad lifestyle. Right now she was just sitting in the room, nobody was there to talk with her. But when she went in that dead garden, where the garden the trees were already lost, she still felt happy because that was something different, some a nature thing she saw. So her happiness started increasing. Now she started feeling better. Now when she saw, she found some instances, some glimpse of fresh plants. So she said the garden is not in a bad condition. The garden can be recovered because still some of the plants are growing. We just need somebody to plant these, to water these plants and make them big trees. Now she said bye to Robin and she again locked the garden. She put it inside and she again went to the manor. Now she was very happy but she did not tell this thing to Martha. She kept it as a secret that she has already entered the secret garden. Now next day again when Martha said that we are going to meet my brother when Dickon and Mary met. Both of them had a very good bonding. This Dickon was a 12 year old boy only and both of them had a tremendous terrible bonding you know. They had a lovely bonding. Both of them gelled up and they became friends. And then Mary told Dickon that there is something I wanted to tell you. There is a secret garden and I have found the key. So don't tell it to Martha. Don't tell it to anybody. Now it is going to be a secret between us. Now Dickon was an expert. He could understand what the birds and animals were speaking. So she took Dickon in the garden as in help to find out that some bird is speaking. So that Dickon can help to tell that what is the bird trying to say. So now Dickon and Mary, they started growing and visiting the garden, they used to enjoy it and now finally a tremendous change was observed in Mary. The same Mary who was a rude and lonely girl, she went inside the garden and she found herself a complete changed person. It is only because she found something different. She found happiness in the plants and the trees, even though they were not fresh. But she found, she found the happiness in the song of the robin bird. She found happiness in everything. So this is the story of the secret garden, how the secret garden helped Mary to become a happier person. I hope the chapter is clear to you. If you like the video, please go like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.